Now is the time to invite our next invited speaker for the inaugural session. I take this proud privilege to introduce Dr. Sunantha Tirakuchil. She is a new associate professor for the disease and sciences in the Department of Information Systems and Disease and Sciences. She was an assistant professor of management at McAvan University in Edmonton, Canada since 2012. She has also taught as an assistant professor at Mahidol University in Thailand, 2011-2012. At ESSEC Business School in Paris, France, 2008-2011 and at Minnesota State University from 2003 to 2008. She has taught courses in operations management, probability and statistics, management sciences, procurement management, manufacturing policy, spreadsheet simulation, supply chain management, and management information systems. Dr. Sonantha Prime has been very active in academic research and co-authored eight journal articles in European Journal of Operational Research, IIE Transactions, Productions and Operations Management, Operations Research Letters, Journal of Computer Information Systems, and Journal of Business Administration. She has a book chapter published in Learning Curves, Theory, Models, and Applications, CRC Press 2011. She has also published several refereed proceedings addressing topics in inventory decision, maintenance outsourcing, and learning and forgetting in setups. She has received many awards and research grants. Dr. Sunantha was awarded a PhD in Operation Management in, 20, in 2003 at Purdue University, USA. She received an MBA in 1994 from the University of North Kalornia at Chapel, North Kalornia. She earned many more certifications. I request Dr. Sunantha Prime and welcome her to the board. Dr. Sunantha, please raise your hands so that we can take you up to the main screen and i welcome you on behalf of srd hi thank you for the introduction um and thank you for your invitation uh, for me to join this um uh, this event um it's my it is an honor to be part of the society of research development um so the items that i'm presenting right now it is um supply chain management with learning and forgetting. Um, so these are the agenda of my presentation. Um, so I start out with the problem description um, and convergence study, um, which will look into learning and forgetting curve, uh, lemmas and results um, that support the existence of convergence study. Then we will look into the forms of optimal policy, um, cost of functions, uh, future research. Um, so the problems, what is about? Uh, we consider a two-stage supply chain, which consists of uh, one retailer, one manufacturer. We assume that the demand is constant over infinite time horizon. The retailer is assumed to Based, um, constant demand over an infinite time horizon. Uh, the manufacturer decides a fixed production quantity uh, that is cost efficient. Um, and we assume that worker learning and forgetting occur in the processing unit in a batch of man in a batch manufacturing environment. So here is the learning curve. We use the white learning curve. Um, white learning curve, um, the functional specification is here. The per unit production time for the X unit is defined as T naught, T naught here, T naught times X to the powers of negative M. Um, T naught is the initial production time prior to any learning, and M here is the learning slope. The forgetting curve that we use is the Goberson and Levin, 
exponential and its shaped forgetting function and the mathematics uh, specification is here. So the fu uh, the function f t of t and i, uh, the function f of t and i, uh, represent the per unit production time after an interruption of i time units, given a production times of t at the start of the inter interruption, and b here is the forgetting uh, co coefficient. And we define the function g of x as the experience level at the start of a batch, given that the x is the experience level at the start of the previous batch. So the result that we found is that the function g of x or the experience uh, level at the start of the current batch is increasing in the experience level at the start of the previous batch. The, the function f of x here represents the amount of forgetting. The, um, in here, the, the interruption durations or the break between batches are constant. So the amount of forgetting is increasing in the amount of learning or accumulative amount of learning uh, so far. Um, so based on lemma one and two, we derived the results and we found that the function uh, g of x, which represents the the experience level um, at the start of current batch, has a unique uh, fixed point, and we define the function. Uh, we define the fixed point as the x star. So I talk about the experience level, and, and function g of x represents the experience level of the current batch. Um, experience level, in fact, it is the total learning and forgetting so far, and it is expressed in the cumulative unit of production on the learning curve. Now, the second result really show the convergence. So we look into the sequence of the experience level from batch one, batch two, and further down, uh, batch three, and so on. And we found that the sequence of experience level monotonically increase or decreasing and it converts into the fixed point x star. Um, now in terms of form of optimal policy, um, the, there are two stages in this supply chain, a uh, retailer and manufacturer. The retailer experience the constant demand over an infinite time horizon. So the appropriate um, or the optimal policy for the retailer is the EOQ, similar types of um, policy, which is the lot size is constant, um, zero inventory in the order arrival period, um, and the retailer pays order to manu manufacturer at fixed interval or at regular interval. Um, so that's the form of optimal policy at the retailer. How about at the manufacturer? Manufacturer selects the cost efficient fixed order quantity. And this fixed order quantity is the multiples, um, integer multiples of the order quantity at retailer. And the manufacturer uh, must complete the batch of QM units just in time to meet the first shipment, uh, to meet the shipment to be delivered to the retailer. The batch completion are scheduled to take at regular intervals. Now, how to derive the, the optimal um, algorithm or the algorithm that provide the least cost. Um, so we need to be able to write up the cost functions. So there are two stages. So there are cost at the retailer and the cost at the manufacturer. So we define QM be the manufacturer uh, production fixed size and QR is the retailer fixed order quantity. The manufacturer batch size is the multiple integer of the retailer order quantity. Um, so at manufacturer stage, there are like the worker work on producing uh, units to work working on producing batches. Um, so 
um, at retailer, there are production time and there are production cost and this uh, mathematics form of production time and the function below here is the forms of production cost. Um, now, let's say the retailer produced three, uh, three batches of, uh, sorry, the manufacturer produce three batches of retailer order. So let's say the retailer order at this time for the QR unit. So the inventory at manufacturer go down by QR unit. And then the second order from the retailer, uh, another QR unit, the inventory at manufacturer go down by QR unit. And same thing in the third batch um, of the retailer, when the retailer order uh, for the QR units, um, the manufacturer inventory go down by the QR unit. So this picture, uh, we use it to derive the holding cost at manufacturer for the unit that has been completed. How about during the production time? Um, the production rate is uh, like faster or higher than the consumption rate. So during the production time, there are inventory accumulated. And this is the function that capture the inventory holding cost during the production time at manufacturer. Manufacturer for each production cycle experience only one setup cost, which is uh, SM, um, I defined um, the setup cost at manufacturer is M. So we, the functions of the cost function um, at manufacturer level is the average cost per time, which includes the labor cost, inventory holding cost for a completed unit, and inventory holding cost during the production, and the setup cost. And this is the characteristic of the per per time, the average cost per time at the manufacturer. But there are um, like manufacturer and retailer. So we look into retailer. Um, retailer just uh, order units or, or, or place order with manufacturer. So learning and marketing uh, does not occur at retailer um, and production does not occur at retailer. So the retailer cost um, um, include inventory cost, holding cost, and setup and ordering cost. Then we combine the average cost per time at uh, retailer and manu manufacturer. We end up with this cost function. So this is still a work in progress. That means we still need to work more to get it complete. Um, so our plan is to develop the optimal algorithm that provide the best production schedule with minimum cost um, for both manufacturer and retailer. And after we got the optimal uh, algorithm, we will use it to run computer simulations uh, for thousands of examples in order to obtain the managerial insight. I think that pretty much it. Any questions? Thank you. It has been an honor to be part uh, of this presentation. Th th thank you, Dr. Sunanta. It was a wonderful session. I asked the audiences if any questions to Dr. Sunanta, she will be happy to answer your questions. On supply chain management with learning and forgetting, she had given her invited talk and SRD is found privileged to have her on a board for this Icon Mesh 21.